Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the broadcast. My name's Todd, and you are watching Digging Life. Plenty of fuel. Today we are on our way up to Marshall, North Carolina. We had a viewer slash now customer come up from Texas all the way up here to his property. We've got to help him get a road cut in. For starters, let's show you guys where I'm actually at here. So what I'm going to do is get this road path started. We walked this driveway a few weeks ago from down there. And what I want to do, this somebody else started this little project and was unable to finish it. What I want to start with is just scraping all this greenery off and see just how wide of a road we've got to start with here. I'm not really wanting to remove dirt, I just want to remove all that greenery and topsoil. just a little under eight feet wide so let's go ahead and cut this off and see what we've got my client brought his tractor with him so he can be working the gravel I think he's got Jared Wills bringing that I'm gonna prep this first section of the road first and foremost soft ground and turning over. Ah, there's a groundhog hole. He's gonna be evicted. As y'all can see, we made it down here to the paved road, got the bulk of the organic green material scraped off. We've got the road now. What I'm going to do is go ahead and throw my tilt grading bucket on and I'm gonna start pulling the grade up through here. We've got our road cut up to, we've got our road cut up to right there, about where that bucket is. Now we don't have any kind of road going out the mountainside right here, so we're going to have to take our time. we got one uh, fiber line running up there, so we'll have to be a little extra careful to not tear it down, but I feel like we can handle this. Let's get going. I don't know how well y'all can see, but my bucket is three feet wide. That's how big these rocks are that's rolling out of this bank. I've laid that infra's tree, as I call it, down through here and lined some brush just to help catch any stray rocks. I'm not going to rely on that. I'm going to try to pick the rocks out as I go. I don't have far to go out through here, but it is going to be a little time consuming. All right, we finally punched through. We got our road roughed in. Laid all the organic stuff over the right to make kind of a rock fence to catch any would-be rollers. Now we're just going to slick it up.
can tell, but it is hazy from all those wildfires up in Canada. Good morning. Day number two. You can see some fresh tire tracks that haven't settled or mushed in any. We've got a good solid road here. Brought my truck up just to kind of test things out. We're going to start on this next section of road today. I've got to start by taking a couple of little trees out. I want to fill this low area in. I know you guys can't tell on camera. We're going to this road or the the trail curves around. I'm going to take some of that trail out, straighten it up for trucks. That'll widen it too. We'll bring all that material down to here. Let's see what we can do. We need to talk about the humidity. And with humidity comes water. bucket off. We'll put this digging bucket on. Let's get to work. And since we're going to fill this hole in down here, I'm going to use this gravel. Make for a good base. got to build this area up to about that that's what he wants so we'll see if we can do that
make his turn around a little better. I'm just going to pod this bank a little bit because I think this was wider and that's just a bunch of dirt and leaves that will keep laid over time. like a road. It's kind of like paint. a good start to the next section but I did have me a little landslide over here I gotta go fix before Jared gets back to that next load of road pond. Alright, bang it. gonna slide out of here from now on I want to slide when I tell it to not when it just decides. That's the downside to trying to build these roads in this area. Looks like quartz, or not quartz, but uh, limestone. Here we go. Let's do a little quick uh, equipment simulation here.
Hey there. Here we go. Come on. It's a little mole. King of the mole people. Okay, little friend. Get you somewhere that you don't want to be right now. Oh no. Come on. I need for you to go elsewhere. Come on. Yep, that's the way you need to go. It'll take me a while to get up through here. We'll set you free. Dig you out, didn't I? Oh, 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 don't go that way. Aren't you a cute little forest friend? Here, I'm put you right here. All right, now you burrow in, okay? Go ahead. Yeah, you're okay. There's the first. Uh, there's the first little forest friend. On this project, it's always a happy ending. There's an injured person. I thought its back was broken because it wasn't wanting to work its back legs, but upon further inspection, it started using them. But he or she is fine. Not bad for two days work. Got a good little turnaround going now. Making time.
Jared got her second load of material down. Ken's gonna dress it up. We'll be back tomorrow to do a little bit more. Here we are on day number three. Let's turn this last little stretch into something more like this. Get it ready for some road bond. Crazy thought that this was once a cow pasture. There's fence running all on this uphill side here. This was grazed by cattle at one time. Wonder how old that barbed wire is. 100 years old or more. All right. That's how we cut it in. Now we just dress it up. Making good time, but it has started raining. I guess I should have dumped that dirt out before I swung around, but we're we're doing pretty well here. Quite pleased. I just wish I, I had my lunchbox sitting outside out there, and it got started getting a little damp. I wish I had a little better place to put this. I guess I could hang it up here. I'll start munching on a little lunch here. I'm really pleased with how this road's going. What I'm doing is, as I'm cutting, I'm casting the dirt way off to the side because I don't want Anybody driving a truck up through here thinking that if it's uncompacted fill, that they can drive on it. So what I do is I'm cutting the, as I'm cutting the sod and the organic material off the top, I leave this little bitty buffer of green material up through here. And I cast the dirt way over there, and that way I see clearly where virgin ground is. What we're gonna to have to do to get this road as wide as I need it to be is once I've stripped the soil off the bank and the road, I'm gonna to have to cut that bank back to bedrock, which we've hit a little bit, but then I can pull, I can, but then I can start cutting the roadbed down and the steeper the ground is, the farther you gotta cut down to widen the road and this is super steep ground so you've got to cut it down right now i would have to cut it down about two feet to gain i'd say 10 inches of width and we just keep sinking the road down into the mountain until we get the widths we need
this is this machine's more than I could have ever asked for in in this size of a machine. almost kind of a ditch for any rocks I roll out when I'm cutting it with the blade to get caught on because that highway's uh, several hundred feet straight down so we gotta be responsible any boulders rolling down on the road a lot of motorcycles ride this area on the thousand hour service here. down and that will widen the road and it'll make it virgin ground flat all the way across then what I can do if I need to further widen it I can cut material out of the bank bring it over and as it raises it up it'll stretch across to the bank so you guys just kind of envision what this will look like after I just cut it we'll check in and see what we got
last now I'm just going to scoot over as close to that wall as I can and cut that side and then I'm just going to teeter totter back and forth to work the ground down. looking really nice but I still want it wider so I'm gonna run up I'm gonna run down to the bottom there where I left off shaving the bank I'm gonna pull material out and then we'll grate it off make it look real good now that I've come up through there and done the rough work what I'm doing is working my way back down and shaving that bank off a little bit steeper but also doing a little bit more neatly and making it look better and i'm dumping that good material in the middle and i'll push it with my blade just to knock the crown off of it and when we get to the bottom the fun starts Look at all that beautiful dirt we just pulled out of that bank. Let's raise that bed up quite a bit. This road was coming up and then the way they originally had it cut it turned up real quick. I'm gonna try to make it a little bit steadier of a taper. That's it for my portion of the work on this project, folks. Turned out pretty nice. Jared Wells just brought one more load of road bone. Let's check that out. Brought that load this morning. Well, Jared did pretty good starting up through there. Well, I'm saddened to say that my time on this project has come to an end. I have fulfilled my obligations. I believe the customer is happy with it. Now I get to go home and play daddy. Thanks for joining me on this video, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and we will see y'all on the next one.
All right, everybody, that's the end of the video. I won't keep you for very long. I know you guys are ready to get on to that next channel that you subscribe to. I do just want to mention really quickly that I kind of have tested doing consultations for viewers and I've had great success. I think everybody that I've talked to has been real pleased. I haven't had a single person give me any feedback that they didn't feel like that it was worth every penny that it cost them. And I feel like I've been able to effectively answer every question that a consultation has brought to me, but also I've been able to provide information to, I've also been able to provide information to those people I'm talking to with answers to questions they didn't even have. And that makes me feel good. And that shows me that there is a lot of there's a lot to starting a business and excavation grading and land clearing that people don't see coming, which means that they're getting ready to spend money or have to spend money that they don't see coming. So I just want to offer to each and every one of you in the description below is my email and you can shoot me an email. I'll respond with how I'm doing consultations right now. It's Monday through Friday and I'm available between 10 and three by phone. Uh, if you wanna do like a FaceTime or a Skype, that has to be scheduled a little bit more picky. I'm not gonna put pricing here because it could be three years from now and prices will be affected. So when you email me, I'll email you back. And one quick tip, I'm, I don't wanna keep you guys, I don't wanna keep you guys too long, but a quick tip is write out all your questions have them ready to go so once we get on the phone it's rapid fire you get your questions out you get your answers and you get your money's worth and that's what i want for each and every one of you i've loved starting this channel it started out as a how-to because i didn't have anybody to mentor me i want to mentor you guys and make the process of starting this business and it can be lucrative you can make a good living doing this but you can just as easily spend a whole lot of extra money, especially when it comes to advertising. There are so many companies in advertising that are big names that you see their advertisements and they look like they just help people so much and it ends up being a total waste of money. So you guys just shoot me an email and you guys and gals just shoot me an email and I'd be glad to help you. Thanks again. We appreciate you watching, and we will see you on the next one.